Most people think about recreational scuba diving, they think of faraway destinations, blue seas, exotic fish, and sharks. But did you know recreational scuba diving incorporates all of STEM? Here to explain this connection is Professor Kent Wallace, physics teacher at Fisk University. Hi, did you know we couldn't have space exploration by humans without diving? Astronauts have to train in great water tanks underwater to simulate zero gravity. And of course, you have to have certified divers in the tanks to train with those astronauts so that they can ha have safety in case anything happens while it's underwater. The act of diving actually uses a great deal of the principles of physics. Take buoyancy, the ability to float, and the understanding of Boyle's law and how pressure affects your breathing habits. STEM is all about diving. From underwater archaeology, where you're using principles of engineering to understand the wreckage of ships, the study of wildlife and plant life underwater, and don't, don't forget the deep star horizon, the problem was fixed by underwater robots. Diving and STEM go hand in hand, and diving can be a wonderful way to get our youth enthused about science and STEM using practical applications in the exploration of the seas to make our next generation of scientists and engineers. We are involved in an organization known as YDWP, or Youth Diving with a Purpose. YDWP teaches open water scuba diving youth ages 15 through 23 about underwater archaeology. During the week-long course, the students learn about trilateration mapping and in-situ drawing, partnerships with the National Park Service and National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, and the adult DWP has trained over 95 people, including 19 youth, in basic archaeology, who have become underwater archaeology advocates. I came away from this training with a sense of how important it is to protect our underwater resources and our history for future generations. The other component of YDWP is the Coral Restoration Program. YDWP partners with the Coral Reef Foundation in Key Largo, Florida. The Coral Reef Foundation is a three-day training course that teaches the lay scuba diver the problems that corals are facing around the world, pollution, climate change, and recreational divers. The foundation also teaches the lay scuba diver how to harvest and plant staghorn and elkhorn coral in the National Marine Sanctuary. In the mornings, there is land practice, and in the afternoon, they go to the nursery and the marine sanctuary to help maintain and plant stag coral coral. Because of the Coral Reef Foundation course, I have a greater appreciation for our coral.